this is Small Farm, and they are not lying. <laughs> this is by ABT Frankie Y. It's only a 26.31 megabytes download, and the description says, Welcome to the Small Farm. This is a small dice map that has a nice environment and is only worth playing on with a small vehicle. Or for the map, I can recommend the lumberjack mode or modes that make it easy to cut to the tree. There are 29 lands, no built-in water source found, seasonal growth is the fund, a station for sale can be found on the map, basic animals, almost everything is for sale except the seller's place and the store, forest is not on the map but can be built within the game. And it says good game, so let's go and check it out. And here we are, this is where you start off in all three modes. This is tiny. <laughs> if we look at the map, if we look at it like that, it looks pretty good. But if I zoom out, that is how small it is. Now this sort of outside of this black square would be the normal size of a full size map on console that is. So I think that's two times, isn't it? So that is how small this map is. Very, very small. But it's quite cool. It's probably going to be a map, well, for just messing around on. Or if you are new to the game and just want to get familiar with it, it would be ideal for that. Or if you've got small kids and you want to get them involved in the game, a sort of map like this would be ideal for that situation. But anyway, I am in new farmer mode and we start off with all this, which is quite a lot really, considering the size of the map. Um, we do have four fields. We have our sort of main farm area here. We've got this area, which has got a cow barn and a sheep barn on. And then this area we own, which basically has got the shop and animal dealer on and our main and only sale point like so so to buy these plots separately the area with the animal dealer and sell point is 89 grand so you can imagine the prices aren't going to be huge our farm area is 24,000 this area with the animal barns in is 48,000 field 2 is 24 and these three fields they come as one plot and that is only 24,000 to buy I think 25 is the largest field and most expensive, and that is 43,000 just over. And then you've got ones that come in twos like this, 21, 22, 30, I think 12 and 13 come as a two, 22 grand. Field eight is only 15 grand, so there you go, you get the idea, pretty cheap. Up here on our main farm, we've got a farmhouse, a fuel tank, we've got a silo, chicken coop, and then we've got the cow barn here, which is the robot feeding one. And we've got a sheep barn. And like I say, sale point, shop, animal dealer. That is it. Pretty straightforward. Um, there is no mods or anything modded in. It is what it is. The paint textures, we'll have a little wander around in a second. There isn't anything that we haven't already seen it's pretty basic everything on here um, and I don't mean that disrespectfully I'm just saying everything's pretty standard uh, we've got animal mud asphalt concrete dirt forest ground grass dry grass gravel rock and granite that is it there is contracts available on the other builds as you can see so gonna be quite low paying out but they are small fields there is no collectibles either on this map they probably won't be very hard to find either because that is very very small there you can see we've got our three animal barns and pens pastures but there's nothing in there as of yet now there is only one sell point as it says but that will take everything so i won't slow down i'm just going to scroll down but if you look to the right farm shop does not disappear it will take everything lime herbicide stones furniture absolutely everything so that's not so bad that's that bit of waffling about um 
slot counts. It is the same across all three modes. The only difference being in Fire Manager and Start From Scratch, you don't start off with any of that land at all. So the slot count is, let's go down and show you the starting equipment, 611, which is pretty low. We do start off with some reasonable equipment. We have got two small tractors, which is the Case Maxim CVX145. That's not a very usual tractor you see in starting equipment. We've got a Massey Ferguson 4708M. We've got the Valga 8000 litre capacity trailer. We've got a Pottinger plow, all small equipment, as you can imagine. Horse Joker disc harrow. We've got the Nordsten Cedar, two front loaders, the Hauer and a Quickie, and then front loader tools. We've got a pallet fork and a universal bucket. That is it. We do not have any harvester, so you will need to buy one of those because we have obviously got fields. Well, in new farmer mode, but obviously, even in farm manager and start from scratch, you're going to be want to do some work on your fields. Right, let's have a little. I'm going to walk around all of this and then we will jump in one of the tractors and have a tour around. It won't take us long. We do have a dog over here, no idea where they are. You can feed them obviously as normal. So, the farm area is fenced in with a gate there. There's the dog, We've got our farmhouse which is just here, sleep trigger, small fuel tank, that will hold 5,000 litres, it is empty at the moment, got a couple of these sheds with some of our equipment in as you can see, so the Hauer front loader is for the case, and then the quickies for that Massey, like so, we've got a jet wash just there, and then we've got the Farmer 400, plus OB1000 silo so that's a 400,000 litre capacity um, just your standard crop types tip in there pipe out there usual kind of affair another shed over here and then we've got our chicken pasture again all basic standard in-game equipment and pens etc this will hold 30 chickens your feed trough is just there as you can see behind the fence and your eggs will appear just here just in case you've not used that pen before right let's walk around here these gates do open and close so we're going this way this is our one and only sail point so you drive up here tip in there now it's one of those sail points where there is two points of sail um, which we've seen on some maps before so the other ones here so up there is going to be for your grains and crop types and then here I would imagine is going to be for all your produce like your pallets of lettuce strawberries eggs etc so that's pretty cool we've got a little bit of a track there now into this yard area we've got another one of those sheds we've got our sheep pen over here this will hold 25 sheep, so it's a small one. Feed trough, trigger just there, and the wall will appear there. Could be a little bit tight getting in and out there with your front loaders. Down this side, we've got a liquid manure tank just there. So in and out, like so. And then this is our robot feeding cow barn. So they will obviously appear out there. Milk will be collected here. This will hold 80 cows. You can drive all the way through. So they will take their straw from there. We've got a manure heap extension. So you can get manure. And this is all the robot feeding ingredients. Again, that could be quite tight there. Back and in there if you want to load that up. Just out of interest can we since we own this land go to demolish yes oh so you can get rid of that fence if you want if you think it's a little bit too tight which it possibly could be that is there and we've got the mineral feed which you will need to fill up just there again this door will open and then your slurry just there Running into this area, we've got our shop, which is just here, like so. Huge open area, 
very flat as well so you can definitely add more things to this area and then we've got our animal dealer which is just there so we've got the free pens and pastures there and then next door we've got a vehicle workshop where you can customize and repair etc that is it that is all there is on this map in terms of animal pens silos things like that sale points so we will quickly jump in the little massey i think and we'll go round there is a few trees that are overhanging i'm guessing that's what they mean about the lumberjack mod but we do not have that mod on console so you'll see what i mean when we get out so we do have these little sort of tracks here um, so that's one of our fields across there, one there. I'm going to need to keep down a bit low because there is quite a few trees. Another one to our right just there is part of that field. I'll turn on the mini map so you can see. Uh, what is a little bit disappointing is that track goes off up there. If I go into landscaping mode, uh, where are we there? There is no track round the outside of the fields so if you come up to here you've pretty much got to turn round so it's just something it's not a huge deal breaker is it but I thought it would have been quite cool to have a track round the outside of the fields the perimeter so that is another one of our fields just to our left here pretty good size for the map so if I carry on now, which I did in my sort of sneak peek earlier, it's a dead end. You might have some scope there and room to put some tracks down if you want, but then obviously you've got to buy all the land. But I shouldn't think it will take long to buy all of this map. Again, that is a dead end straight on, so we need to turn left and pretty much just do a loop round. <laughs> and then we'll be back up by our farm. I've missed my turning. Look, you can see what I mean, though. No, I haven't. It's just there, isn't it? Oh, and there's a tree. <coughs> I was too busy looking at the mini map. I thought I'd missed the turning. And then as you can see everything else on our left now back to where we started at the farm that is it um, I forgot to mention when we were going through slot counts that you can get that down lower if you sell off all the equipment you start off with you can get it down to five three nine and then if you sell off all of the buildings and pastures that you own you can get it down to 471 and this area and obviously over there where the cow barn is does become quite open so you could pretty much do what you wanted to um, I'll show you a quick clip of those areas all sold off So there you go nice open areas um, in farm manager and start from scratch it does let you come on here even though you don't own any of the land you can still sell off all of this if you click on it and it will let you use all the animal pens as well even if you don't own the land so you can pretty much use everything whatever mode you're in but that is it that is small farm by abt dash frankie y hope you have all enjoyed the map tour if you have please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet please do and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty